Have you ever wondered why Mars, our celestial neighbor, is famously known as the Red Planet? This intriguing title comes from its distinctive rusty color, a result of iron oxide, or as we commonly know it, rust, present in its soil and rocks. The iron oxide gives Mars an unmistakable reddish appearance that sets it apart in our solar system. But that's not all. Mars also hosts Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano known to us. Standing roughly 13.6 miles high, Olympus Mons dwarfs even Mount Everest, Earth's highest peak. Imagine a mountain so massive it makes our tallest peak seem like a mere hill. These unique characteristics not only make Mars visually striking, but also scientifically captivating. They reveal a world unlike our own, offering a glimpse into the incredible diversity of our solar system. These distinctive features paint a fascinating picture of Mars, setting the stage for its exploration. The allure of Mars has led to numerous missions aimed at unraveling its mysteries. The journey began with the Mars rovers Spirit and Opportunity, launched in 2003. They were tasked with the mission to study Mars's geology and to search for signs of water, the key ingredient for life. Their discoveries, which included evidence of past water activity, paved the way for future explorations. In 2011, the Curiosity rover embarked on its voyage to the Red Planet. Armed with a state-of-the-art lab, Curiosity's mission was to determine whether Mars could have ever supported microbial life. It uncovered organic molecules and seasonal methane emissions, hinting at the possibility of life. Fast forward to 2020, the Perseverance rover joined the exploration party. Its mission? To seek signs of ancient life and collect samples that could one day be returned to Earth for further analysis. Each mission brings us one step closer to understanding this enigmatic planet. But what is it really like on Mars? Let's delve into its atmosphere and climate. First off, Mars has a remarkably thin atmosphere, primarily made up of carbon dioxide with smaller amounts of nitrogen and argon. This thin veil around the planet is a far cry from the protective blanket of air we enjoy on Earth. Consequently, it causes significant temperature variations. Temperatures on Mars can swing from a relatively balmy 20 degrees Celsius during the day to a chilly negative 80 degrees Celsius at night. Now let's talk about seasons. Mars experiences them much like Earth does but they are nearly twice as long, thanks to its more extensive orbit around the Sun. Imagine a winter that lasts almost a year. And then there are the dust storms. These aren't your average dust-ups. Some of these Martian tempests can cover the entire planet, shaping and reshaping the Martian landscape and impacting its climate. The harsh Martian climate presents significant challenges to potential life and future exploration. Despite these challenges, the question lingers, could there be life on Mars? The recent discoveries of liquid water beneath the Martian surface and ice at the polar caps have heightened this speculation. Water, as we know, is a fundamental ingredient for life as we understand it. This evidence, combined with the past existence of lakes and rivers on Mars, suggests the possibility of past or even present microbial life. Simultaneously, research is being conducted on Mars's potential habitability for future human exploration. Scientists are studying the planet's geology and climate to understand whether humans could survive there. Concepts for manned missions are being proposed, some even daring to envision the colonization of Mars. Yet these are not simple tasks. The thin atmosphere, extreme temperatures and radiation pose significant challenges. Despite these, the prospect of life and human exploration on Mars continues to inspire us, driving our curiosity and our determination to reach new frontiers.